hi welcome back students here today we are going to have the update on vtu that is uh, i have one subject here from enc branch electronics and communication branch that is digital system design it is conducted for third semester ece students okay so here uh, we are going to have the scheme of evaluation from the vtu how it is going to be and how the marks are going to be allocated for your correct answers and step by step i will explain here subject code is 18 ec 34 so we'll look one by one now you should answer any five full questions choosing at least one full question from each module so module number one it is having so two questions you should write first question or second question so we'll see now what is the question first question a define and explain combinational logic circuit along with block diagram for how many marks they have given six marks they have given so for six marks look at your answer how it is going to be look at now so definition a combination of circuit means it is a uh, going to uh, whose output at any time is directly only from the present combination of the input irrespective of previous inputs like this if you write two marks and combinational logic function if you write uh, x and y and write the block diagram and if you explain explain y equal to f of x you will get totally six marks for the first question if you write like this two marks and if you write like this it is going to be four marks suppose if you are not written definition if you are written only this explanation you will get four marks if you are written definition if you are not written this explanation you will get two marks okay so both are half of you if you are written so definitely definition zero you will get and probably here you will may, you may get two so like this the marks are going to be awarded okay so similarly we'll see the second question second question is develop canonical min term and max term form in decimal notation for a following equation following function x equal to f of a b c d a bar b plus c d bar and f of a b c is a plus b and b plus c bar so they have asked you min term and max term form in decimal notation decimal means so it is summation and pi okay for which it is summation and for which it is pi we will see here how the answer is going to be so the second question the answer is look at this b so a bar b plus c d bar so here they have asked you the canonical form hence you should write all a b c d that's why here a bar b is written as a bar b multiplied by c plus c bar which is nothing but one because a plus a bar equal to one similarly d plus d bar because you should add all this should come in your expression terms that's why they are adding c plus c plus c bar and d plus d bar similarly for the c d bar they are adding a plus a bar and b plus b bar because those are not there that's why they are adding okay once you, they are adding you can multiply all those things so at the end you are going to get this and corresponding you should write if it is a bar b c d so you should write where if it is bar you should write zero if it is a normal variable you should write once that's why you are getting zero triple one okay so zero triple one what is zero triple one is nothing but seven that's why when you are writing the decimal notation you should have the seven in this decimal notation is represented by this so these are going to be collected whatever the numbers will be having here two four five they have written here just look at this it is a decimal notation okay so what is a pi, pi notation from this what are the elements which are not here in the decimal notation those will be the pi notation so totally how many uh, terms should be 16 so out of that decimal notation are this and pi notations are this for this how many marks four marks so like this they are going to allocate the marks similarly they have given you one more function that is product of some a bar plus b and b plus c bar so here also we should get in such a way that observe this we are having a b c so from this c is missing from this a is missing so you should arrange in such a way that you are going to get all a b c look at this later you can write these numbers here okay so one four five are the decimal notation and uh, sorry one four five are pi notation and the other it is counting from 0 to 8 0 to 7 4 5 6 7 
right so here totally here are they so in this out of this one four five are pi notation and remaining are obviously the it is going to be zero two three six seven are a summation notation okay so like this it is going to be so for that four marks is there and for the last it is uh, you should write uh, what is that the c question you should write what is the question they have asked here the c question simplify the following function using k map and construct logic circuit for the simplified equation so they have given you the summation here so you should use the k map and write all the entries which are corresponding to one okay so which are corresponding to one map there group of eight terms and group of four terms and after this you are going to have the simplified notation so once you write the simplified notation you should go for the logic diagram so the logic diagram once you write that is going to be the final stage okay then after that you should go for the next question question number 2a so the ne next number question number 2a is simplify the following boolean function using a uh, quinn mccleskey method so we should do the quinn mccleskey method it is very very lengthy method so for that look at what is the uh, on answer what is that uh, number they have given to you the number they have given to you is 10 marks here okay so because it is a very bigger problem so for that just look at what is the answer for 2a look at this how the marks are going to be distributed just observe you are having a doubt how many marks they will allocate like this for question number 2a look at this first you have to group the min terms according to total number of ones grouping min terms variables okay so this is a table one you are having two marks so now grouping a two min terms that is table number two again it is two marks similarly you can go for table number three and last prime implicates okay so if you write like this up to here look at the marks how they these are going to be divided okay two 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 for like each soft step you are going to have the marks so similarly b so b c d what is the question they have given to b so to b is design combinational logic circuit valid uh, single digit b c d data the output is one whenever the number is greater than five appears in the output for five marks they have asked here so they are given you some statement for that statement you should write okay more than five they have given so for more than five it is uh, they have written the table bcd number look at this this is five more than five they have written one and since it is a bcd they have stopped at this point after nine no bcd numbers that's why they are written with this as uh, don't cares okay so once they have written like now they return this six seven eight nine as a answer very simple one only you should write what uh, read correctly okay once you write this six seven eight nine then you can write this next step which is you can uh, write the k map simplification followed by the logic diagram similarly 2c look at the 2c you should find out the prime implicants and essential prime implicants okay k map is one mark and for all these finding out is two mark and writing a uh, pi and epi prime implicants and essential prime implicants one mark so like this it is going to be divided look at 3 is to 8 decoder they have asked you so how the marks are going to be divided look at here the marks you should write the definition one mark to table uh, clearly showing the input and output two mark and output equations one mark later this is a logic diagram for 3 to 8 decoder it is having two mark like this the marks are divided next full adder circuit look at full adder circuit how many marks they have asked you so it is asked for what is that see eight marks okay then uh, short a note on pld spga six marks okay full adder eight marks they have asked you
okay so for 8 marks what is the answer so you should write the definition of how it is going to have uh, look and all how many inputs how many outputs one mark to table two mark logic equations three mark and logic diagram two marks okay like that the marks are di divided and the question c is theory if eld and fpgm three and three marks next 4a it's about multiplexer so they have asked you four is to one multiplexer so you should write over the definition design so it is for two marks and truth table function table two mark finally diagram is two mark okay next second question b so it is about a uh, look ahead carry generator so you should write like this which consisting of si which is pi xr ci and followed by ci plus one gi plus pi ci so like this if you write here p1 p2 p3 p4 g1 g2 g3 g4 then c1 c2 c3 c4 so you're going to have five marks for this three diagram and the explanation is five very important the diagram only carries three marks here if you don't write here anything apart from diagram you will get minimum three marks okay next they have given you one bit comparator so you should write one bit comparator a with b so you should write three equations so obviously here having two marks equation two marks and logic diagram two marks very simple question here so this time it has come very easy, I, I think. The question number 5a is about sequential circuit, combinational circuits. You should tell about uh, present state and previous state inputs dependency and in combinational only present state. And you can write that and you should tell about the memory. Okay. So that's about uh, fifth question. Next fifth B, SR lash they have given. So you should write the definition followed by the diagram followed by the case and truth table look at how the marks are divided 2 2 2 okay master save jk flip flop similarly logic diagram 2 functional table 2 explanation 2 okay 6a synchronous counter asynchronous counter so you should write the definition uh, what is the difference uh, minimum four difference you should try to get six marks next b question so it's a four bit universal shift resistor so you should use four cross one four muxes and d flip flops and this combination you should write oh, diagram only carries four marks table two marks okay then c sr flip flop using nand gate so you should write the flip flop di logic diagram so function truth table or function table then uh, waveform explanation so 2 plus 2 plus 2 six marks 7a melee model and more model so you should write both uh, diagrams followed by explanation that's a uh, total 10 marks they are given you write Miller model explanation, Mora model explanation. Then B, 7B is design of mod 6 counter. So you should write the formula 2 raised to n is greater than n where n is equal to 6. That's why here 2 marks it will be excitation table you should write. Okay. Then you should write the transition table. That is for 4 marks. Kmap 2 marks and implementation 2 marks. So totally it is asked for 2 plus 4 a 6 plus 2 8 plus 10 marks it is asked okay next 8a determine a system variable input output okay so characteristic equation you should find q plus is equal to t xr a so you should find it for uh, t flip fluff that's why it is for two marks next state is three marks output variable equation it is going to be again a transition table three marks and the last it is state table okay so for question number eight you are having totally eight parameters okay then question number b it is having six marks so you should write about shift register applications okay with brief explanation you should write it so that is what the scheme which is given by the vtu you should write according to like this check out whether you have written this type of answers or not and check out your marks you will easily get what's your marks after seeing this video so serial adder communication accumulator so 9a this must be your answer this answer this diagram only it carries six marks look at look at here diagram only carries six marks explanation carries six marks to totally 12 marks next state assignment rules so here each three marks rule number one three marks rule number two three marks so totally six marks last question 10a sequential circuit design step five marks and bcd xs3 you should write the table it is two mark okay so again the equation it is three marks last ring counter so you should write the diagram 
a logic diagram table jansen counter so it is 2 marks 3 marks so 2 plus 3 5 plus 2 is 7 so 8 marks they have given so look at now it is a register evaluation approved vtu variation so according to this you should write the dsd paper so 90 percent this evaluation is uh, this is the reference paper for all the evaluators those who are going to do the digital system design uh, examination valuation and it is almost valuation is over dst valuation is over now waiting for all the subjects valuation and probably all the valuations are over let's see probably within one week within 10 days you are going to get a result of third semester within seven days or within 10 days you will get the third semester result i hope this paper was looking like very easy so you can easily clear this subjects not only clear you can easily uh, what is that score this subject okay so like this type of videos with uh, i will come up with the another type of solution so let me have the comments in the comment section what what are the other various subjects you want from the uh, what is that video evaluation how the scheme is going to be how the marks are going to be now one more thing i will add here look at this this is a course object code digital system design 18 ec 34 look at here as per the scrutiny from boe members there will be no corrections okay there will be no grace marks this is what the conclusion they will make and this is what the question paper setter and their signature will be there okay regarding modification of scheme and solution one time they will write if they have the any objection from the, uh, any evaluators they will change it they will modify it and these are the authenticated what is that the scheme of evaluation from the video okay for this type of video stay tuned to my Dunia youtube channel i will meet you again in the next video for um, any one uh, question paper uh, with a model with a solutions and scheme from the video thank you for your patience